Welcome to CMH Software's Constructor Training Series. In this video, we're going to cover using the PDF exporting features. Many of these features were added in version 14.2. If your version of the Constructor 14 is less than version 14.2, then simply go to the Help menu and then click Check for Updates. It will download and install the latest version of the program. To open the PDF exporting screen, you can press the Control key and the D key on your keyboard simultaneously, or go to the File menu, and then select Export the Ladder Diagram, and then Portable Document Format. The first time you open the PDF exporting screen, the diagram will be shown on a single page. The current page size being used is shown here. To change the page size, click the page menu and then select Settings. Or you can click the page settings icon in the toolbar. From the settings screen, you can select the page size, the margins and the orientation along with many other features associated with a PDF document. The page output controls allow you to use either single page or multiple pages. When using multiple pages, additional pages will automatically be added to the document as you increase the scale of the diagram. It will also remove unneeded pages as you reduce the scale of the diagram. To help you see everything, click on this button right here and it will automatically set the zoom so that you can see all of the pages currently being used. You can also spin the middle mouse wheel button to zoom in and out. Holding down on the middle mouse button wheel while dragging the cursor will pan the display for you. When pages are added to the document, they are automatically selected to be exported and they have a green border around them. You can unselect a page just by clicking on the page. Clicking on it again will reselect the page. Only the pages that are selected will be included in the PDF document. When you set the page output as single page, only one page will be used in the exported PDF document. Changing the scale of the diagram will not add any additional pages or remove any. This allows you to scale and align the diagram precisely to the single page. To change where the page is located at in the diagram, just left click anywhere on the page and then drag it to the new location. You can also use the arrow keys to move the page. Or the alignment buttons. Let's go ahead and change back to multiple pages now and then we'll save the document. To save the document, select Save As from the File menu. If you have not already named and saved the document, then a name will automatically be generated based on the project's name. You can change this name if you like. Once a PDF document has been saved, it will automatically be opened using the system's PDF viewer. If you don't want to have the file automatically opened, just go to the Options menu and then uncheck this option. 